Erin. I'm from thefitrv.com. I'm also a silver sneakers instructor in Salt Lake City, and today I am at Camping World of Salt Lake City, about to bring you a resistance band to work out. Are you ready? Grab that resistance band and let's get going. Let's start seated. We're sitting on the edge of our chair, putting the band under our shoes. Make sure it's under the arches of your shoes. You're up nice and tall. Cross the handles. Notice how I cross the handles, pulling them up. Now we're gonna step side to side. Ready, here we go. So we're stepping. Now I'm in sort of a rocking chair. You might see it moving. Don't do that. <laughs> when you choose your chair, make sure you're in something solid. Your RV couch is perfect. Side and side. Now that you got it, can you take it further? Challenge yourself, guys. Nice big steps. Good posture, really big steps. You should be feeling this about now. Out and in, out. Let's go one more each side. All right, glue those feet to the ground. We're gonna go into a row now. So we're pulling those handles up to our shoulders. Elbows come out to the sides. Don't let your body, I don't wanna see any lean back. Don't let your spine arch. Good posture, holding yourself solid. Four more. Three, two, all right, awesome guys. Let's go back to those side steps. Ready, go. Step and step, awesome. Good posture. How far can you go? Get way over there. Stepping wide. Almost there. Let's do four more singles. Three, two, all right. Back to the rows. Straighten your arms. Ready, go. Up and down. Watch your elbows. Make sure they're coming out to the sides. Make sure your palms are facing your body. Four more. Three, two, and last one. All right, good job, guys. Take that band off of your shoes. Let's stand up. Now that we're up, let's put the band back under our shoes. Now, if you are new to doing this, please be by a wall. Please be holding yourself safely, holding on to whatever ledge you have if you need to do that. We're gonna go into just a straight old bicep curl with a squat. Looks like this. Down and curl down and curl. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five more. Four, three, you can do it. These are hard too. And last one, excellent. Take the band off from under your shoes. We're sitting down again. A lot of up, down, that's good. You're getting extra movement. You're holding the handles like this. Now choke up on the band. That means you grab some of the colored part. Hold your arms straight. We're leaning back a little to start. I'm leaned back. I know you can't tell, but I am. And we're gonna stretch the band as we sit up. When we lean back, we loosen the band. So tighten and loosen. Tight. Awesome, you guys. We're working our core. We're working our shoulders and our arms. Let's do four more of these. Three more. Good, breathing through it. Two more. Here's our last one. All right, great job. Let's stand back up. Repeat those bicep squats. Put the band back under your shoes. I'm trusting you to do this safely under the arches of your shoes. Curls and squats. Ready, go. Now there's two ways to do a curl and squat. You can tell this time I'm curling as I squat. Let me show you the other way. You can squat and curl. Squat and curl. So, I'm okay with either one. You decide which one you want. This is your workout. Four more. 
three, two, and one. All right, great job. Take that band off your shoes, sitting back down. Let's repeat that core exercise we did. Choke up on the band again, remember? Holding it out with straight arms, leaning back. Ready, go. Straighten and lean. Activating your core, keeping it tight. Make sure you keep your feet in contact with the ground. Don't lean back so far that they come up. Lean back. Let's do four more of these. Three. Two. And here's our last one. All right, let's go on to two new exercises. Let's stand up, guys. Feet are wide. Now take both handles in one hand and hold the other hand at the, at the midpoint. We're gonna do a crazy eight, looks like this. We're gonna row the weight to one side, make a big circle, and row the, the stretch band to the other side and make a big circle. Let's try that a little faster, okay? Ready, go. Circle to the right, circle to the left. Good, now let's put some leg into it. Really use the space. Big circles, guys. All right, we're almost there. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, stay standing for this next exercise. I want you to choke up on the band so you're only holding about two inches of the band. And then you're gonna put it in your chest your elbows out to the side. Your arms are gonna be doing this motion where you're just pulling, let me show you from the side. I'm pulling my elbows back, okay? Now, we're gonna add a little calf raise to it. Every time we pull our elbows back, we're gonna go up on our tippy toes. Now, add a little mini squat. So I'm down and up. Up and down, up. These are tricky, but once you get them, they're awesome because they work your whole body. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's do four more. Three, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Here's your last one. All right, let's repeat those two exercises. Back to the crazy eight. Feet are wide. Ready, go. Circle and circle. Now you're not really pulling too hard on the band on these. We're just trying to really use our body, make big circles. Good job, keep going. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. All right. Choke up on the band again. This is called scapular adduction, what we're doing with our arms. So put that into your chest. Start getting your elbows pulled back. Let's add the calf raise and squat. All right, good job, you guys. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, great. Let's sit back down for the next exercise. And we're gonna put our coats on, which just means Take the band and swing it around your back. Then I want you to choke up on the handles. So you've got some of the color part of the band in your hand. Band should be under your arms, not over the top. So we're gonna be pressing like this with the band, just like this. Now we're gonna turn it into a little fly. Watch what I do. My arms are gonna close and open. It's like you're hugging your grandbabies. And open. Or hugging a tree. And open. Now notice I've got a lean going here too. A little more core work. And open. Four more. Open. Three. Open. Almost there. Two. And open. Last one. All right, good job. Keep your coats on, guys, but let's stand up. Stand up. 
and we're gonna go into an I'm a star. I love these. Now your arms are just gonna pull diagonal like this. Okay, that's the arms. Now we're gonna add a toe tap like this. Toe taps out to the side. So these are I'm a stars. So you can think, I'm a star. I'm a star. Really extend your arms. Reach them. Good posture. Core is tight. Let's do six more. Five. Four, then we're back down for those sit-ups. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys, we're getting there. Sitting back down. Remember, we did those presses, just like this. Adding the little sit-up. Now let's turn it into a fly. Here we go. Open and hug those grandbabies. Open and hug that tree. Open and close. Make sure your core is tight. Exhale on the effort. Let's do four more and close. Three more. Close, keep your feet in contact with the floor when you lean back. And last one. All right, good job, you guys. We're coming up again. Second time, I'm a stars. Start with just getting your arms going. That helps on these, if you just focus on the top part first. Straighten your arms at a diagonal. Let's add the toe right here. Tap to the side, tap to the other side. All right, I'm a star. Reach, really use that space. Let's do six, five, four more, three, two, and one. All right, guys, and that's it. You are now done with the second part of your RVing workout. So grab some water, take a break, and then come back for the ball portion of the workout. Now, if you don't have a ball, it's okay, you can make your own. Take a sock, shove a bunch of other socks in it, and that's plenty good for your ball workout. So, I'll see you later.